least H6 is a form of cancer. I got an H that this movie can shove itself collectively up, you know what I mean? Troll Court. That's what I'm going to take Jesus to for suggesting that we watch this movie. Brightburn is a 2019 horror film produced by James Gunn, but written by his brothers. The movie follows the story of a young boy named Brandon Breyer, who is adopted by a couple named Tori and Kyle Breyer. And then a hard cut to them raising a baby after all the fertility fucking books on the shelf. That there was a baby inside the meteor, and they're raising the baby. And it was a white baby, so it's all it all worked out. After they find him in a crashed spaceship near their farm. It's really weird, Anil. What do they do? It's a farm, and you don't really see much With animals. an yup, yup. Where the fuck are the animals? Okay. I'm out here just working the farm. <laughs> the couple raises Brandon as their own son, but they soon discover that he has extraordinary abilities. It's actually in the shot. Maybe he'll press it after this. You know, sometimes you do press it and it still doesn't start. I get it. Push the fucking button. Let us see you push the button, man. The kid's supposed to be smart, which is what you fucking wasted a scene in the school to show us. You have to film him pressing the button, man. Instead of hitting it and going stupid thing after you pull it over and over and it doesn't work. You know what the definition of insanity is, man? <laughs> Put your hand right in it. Put your hand right in it. I'm, di I'm indestructible. It's a reasonable conclusion to come to. I'm really strong, so I can't be hurt by a spinning blade. Let's do it. This is a scene in our movie and it's scary. It's a scary scene. Kid really is smart. As Brandon approaches his 12th birthday, he begins to display signs of aggression. He also starts to develop superhuman abilities such as super strength, flight, and heat vision. Original, right? His parents become increasingly concerned about his behavior, but they are unsure how to handle his growing powers. Brandon eventually begins to regard himself as a superior being who is entitled to rule over humanity. Brandon's behavior becomes increasingly violent and he starts using his powers to hurt and kill people. Oh my god, what the fuck? The car's being lit. Wait a minute, cars ain't supposed to go this way. If he goes any further, they'll flip over with me inside. That's a bad oh, thing. Oh, oh. And as the body count rises, a local sheriff named Deputy Deaver starts to investigate the mysterious deaths in the town. He discovers that Brandon is behind the killings, but he is unable to stop him because of the superhuman abilities. In the movie's final act, even his parents recognize maybe this kid sucks and the dad tries to kill him. Uh, and then the mom tries to kill him. Yep. Thank God it's almost over. The movie ends with Brandon assuming, you know, <laughs> his dick role of terrorizing humanity. And the whole movie answers the question, what if Superman, but bad? I'm the bad guy. No, seriously. That's how the movie unironically ends with that song featuring that line. And all I could think if you've ever seen Malignant is how many times where is my mind plays to really see the shape of the middle finger that you're being given by the people making this film. So naturally I look some things up and Elizabeth Banks is apparently the woman who directed the new Charlie's Angels as well as the new Cocaine Bear movie. So I'm thinking this movie didn't have enough going on, it was crippled by its budget and the lack of imagination, but based on what I assume the returns for Cocaine Bear are, maybe it had too much going on, you know what I mean? It did be a little bit dumber. <laughs> No disrespect to Cocaine Bear, by the way, it looks like a fine, upstanding movie that certainly would have been much more fun than this. Oh no, no more time skips. Oh man, that's rough. <laughs> I don't yeah. like I don't like this yeah, kid. Yeah, he, he gets to be this age the whole movie. That's rough. His face is my face when you told me what you just told me. Grandma, I hear you're killing in school. That guy has the energy of somebody who's barely sober for this occasion. Know what yeah, I mean? They all look like they're on something. Hey, so uh, are you doing? Are you doing really you know well in school? Uh, <laughs> you, got, you got my fix. You got my fix, though. The farm is a cover-up. They are a meth lab. That's how they make that. Money. Yeah, that's how they make that. Money. 
That's why there's no Shut up. Animals. Just shut up. Shut up and let me please experience this, this delivery. It can't be as weird as I was thinking it was. Sabrina, I hear you're killing in school. <laughs> <laughs> it's just shit. It's cheap, and it's rough, and it's unimaginative. The decline of truth and justice in the modern era. You're a guy, you know, and you're going to have certain urges, you know, about girls you see in films or girls in class or whatever. Unless this scene ends in him, like, killing a deer by shooting it, and then the kid runs over and rips the skin open and then uses the blood from the organs to like start playing with himself right there and then and then the dad goes oh what the fuck and then he goes oh, you said it was okay dad and all this shit because of the way that they're doing like some of the promo shit now people are like making little goofy ones for barbie oh, okay. barbie's gonna bring pogs back i know it remember I pogs <laughs> no i never I remember pogs thanks jesus I appreciate the movie recommendation and hope that this review has been to your liking, even though I haven't really said much more than I couldn't stand it. How is he so ready with the movie Brightburn? How is he so ready? I don't know. He likes this movie for some reason. Look at this woman's face. That's Jesus's face when I went, hey, tell me what movie to review. And he was like, okay, here you go. I'm going to include some clips at the end that hopefully shape what I felt a little bit robbed of in the middle of that movie. Why couldn't they fake us out? Maybe we saw the sleeping bag from the wrong angle and it looked like somebody was in there beating it. But then when she was like, what the fuck? And went over to look, it was actually just the wind and he's not even there. And then she has to go out, you know? And that would be the perfect follow up to a scene where the dad this movie ain't cool like that. awkwardly spends a lot of time talking about how it's okay to touch it because of your urges. We totally didn't find your organ pictures that you'd be liking. Yes, this could be uncomfortable. He goes to her house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That could be kind of cute if you Oh yeah, that's what I want it to be cute, D. I don't want him to like be eating her panties like an alien because he's an alien. But then how does that look? Oh my god. Oh my god, what if he jacks it? Like he was told it was okay, dude. Oh my god, that'd be the sickest fucking scene. So it's a shame that didn't happen because it would have added to the creepy factor I felt was severely lacking in this film. Brandon breaks into a little girl's room in the middle of the night to get a good peeping on. And then when she sees him at school, she calls him a pervert and he breaks her hand. Then he breaks back into her room in the middle of the night again. And when she says, my mom says I'm not supposed to talk to you, he goes, I'll take care of that and goes to where she works and kills her. That sounds great on paper, doesn't it? But the movie, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? So if a 5 out of 10 is me leaving this playing on a TV that just has it in the background, then I'm giving this a 4 because I feel like I'm actively trying to switch this to something else or turn it off. And Jesus, I am sorry, but I hope this was satisfactory. Thank you for listening. <laughs> so who's that, guys? Was that the mom? That, that was could... the mom of the girl. Okay. That's sad. That's really sick. That'll teach you to have a problem with me breaking your daughter's hand. And I took her hand in marriage. And, and breaking into your house. Yes. I took her hand in marriage. What are you going to do about it? Who's going to stop me? You with all your organs spread out that I was jacking off on? I was jacking off into you. To so in a way, I'm your daughter's daddy. And she's going to be calling me daddy. I took her hand in marriage when I broke it. Sorry, have to inject a little bit of Kyle filthy humor because, I mean, what else is happening in this movie? Nothing.